What's up everybody? My name is Pete and you guys are watching Pete Does Keto and Tries to Lose Weight. Uh, I've been cranking out these videos tonight because I want to make sure that I get them all out there to you. So if you're new here, welcome. I uh, hope you enjoy what you're about to see and witness or whatever. I don't, really, I don't know what you want to call it. but um, So at the current moment, I'm about 11 or 12 days into doing my keto diet uh, or keto lifestyle change because it really is a lifestyle change. Um, I've made many, many sacrifices. Uh, I'm actually uploading this November 1st, and this was my first time in 32 years of being on this earth. I did not eat a piece of candy on Halloween. Not one. And I know that sounds like ridiculous to some people, and they're like, oh, well, that's not a big deal. Dude, it's totally a big deal. It's Halloween. How are you not eating candy? You know? So for me to not do that was not as hard as I thought, actually. But what I wanted to talk about in this is in this video is why it's so easy to give up on keto or Atkins or low carb or whatever you want to call it. Um, it's it's really easy to give up because of things like that. You know, holidays come around. You want to eat something. You want to have a cheat meal, a cheat day. Let me tell you something. Cheat meals and cheat days. I feel like you can only really do those, and I feel like you've only really earned those when you're in the maintenance phase, not when you're in the losing the weight phase, because when you do that, the next day your body is craving sugar again, it's craving like crazy, and, you're, and you don't know why. But the fact is you knocked yourself out of ketosis and your glycogen storage is depleted, so your body is begging you for carbs because it realizes it's empty. So what do we do? The hormonal imbalance kicks in and we give in. So then we'll go get a sandwich, we'll go eat some candy again or we'll go eat pasta or rice or something like that and then before you know it you're off keto and you're screwed trust me it's happened to me more times than i want to know ever since atkins came around in 2003 or not came around but the, when it got popular um that's when i started noticing you know like that this was a way to do things you know and i kept trying and failing and trying and failing but that's life making mistakes and learning from them um but this time, I'm able to really stick to it because I've educated myself more as to how the body works. And the fact of the matter is, my body is insulin resistant, and I'm trying to reverse that. Basically, your body is providing too much insulin, and the, and the cells are not receiving it. It's like it turns it off. So your body is always craving food, but it's not actually getting to, uh, you know, what do you call it, to your body to be burned as fuel. So you keep eating and you get more and more tired, but you're never actually satisfied. So when it all comes down to it, it's very easy to get off the wagon on keto, and I do not recommend cheat days. Not in the beginning phases, because I've done it too many times. Like, I'll lose 15, 20 pounds, and then I'm like, oh, I can deserve to eat bread, and then boom, you're right back going backwards. You're taking, you took two steps forward, or you're taking one step forward and two steps back. Doesn't make sense. So the point of this, guys, is do not give up, okay? Don't screw up. Don't mess yourself. Don't sabotage yourself. And if you feel like you're, you, you've given up, try and get back on. Because let me tell you something. Being fat will kill you. Okay? I'm terrified right now of, of my weight and, and my situation. But because I've been doing this again uh, for the past two weeks, almost two weeks, I feel great. I, I have mental clarity. I can see things clearer. I feel like I'm handling situations better. My sleep has improved. So many things have improved. Uh, it's just, it, it gets, it only gets better from here. And I'm seeing too many people doing this and doing well with it and getting to their goals. And I'm tired of failing and you should be too. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you have any questions, I'll try my best to answer them again. I don't know if this channel is going to blow up or anything. I have no idea, but that's not the point. The point is I want to share my stories and hopefully help a few of you in the process. So if you're interested in that and seeing what else I have to say, uh, definitely subscribe by hitting the red subscribe button down below. Tap the little notification bell and select all uploads so you don't miss any of my new videos. And if you enjoyed this and you're on a keto journey like me, smash the like down below. I'd really appreciate it. Until next time, stay focused, stay motivated, and don't give up. Because if you give up, you're really giving up on yourself. Until next time, take care.